All right, so you join me down at East Elf Lakes in Peterborough. We're fishing the back lake, and I'm here with one of my mates for a bit of a Christmas social. Uh, I like to get away this time of year. Uh, in winter, the lake's usually fairly quiet. It's nice just to have a bit of a catch up and a social coming into the Christmas season. Um, so as I say, we're at East Elf Lakes fishing the back lake. Uh, it's a lovely complex of two lakes here. Um, really friendly place, um, some lovely fish to go out into uh, the low 30 pound mark and a real good chance of a 20 pounder. So um, we got here yesterday at about one o'clock. Um, I've struggled so far, I uh, haven't had anything but my mate who I'm with uh, had one early hours this morning and uh, just as it got light, a really nice 20 pound mirror, uh, lovely looking fish. Um, so yeah, uh, fingers crossed for today. The weather's looking really nice now. It rained all day yesterday, um, including when we got here, it actually chucked it down. But now it's overcast, uh, really nice wind, it's swinging around to a southwesterly, so hopefully that will uh, switch them on. Uh, apparently they do like a big wind in here and we're going to get some 30 mile an hour gusts later on today, so hopefully that will switch the fish on. We've had the place to ourselves last night, uh, I think there's a couple booked on tonight. It's fairly quiet at the moment, uh, seen a few fish in the area, so Fingers crossed, um, hopefully we'll have a fish to show you soon. All right, so I just thought I'd go through the bait that I'm using for this session. Um, I'm using two different baiting approaches. Uh, so I've got my rod split up on two different kind of spots. Uh, the main rod is just fish straight out into the middle. Uh, it's a fairly uniform depth bait there, but um, just clipped up to about 10 wraps. And I'm fishing just five spot falls over the top. And that's this mix here. Um, it's a right cloudy, sloppy kind of mix. Um, to start the base of it is some chopped peanuts and they're soaked for 48 hours in just some hot water and they go really gloopy and cloudy and they let off loads of attractions and become really soft and mushy. Uh, really nice nutty um, profile to them obviously. <laughs> um, and to that I have added some crushed boilies and also just some pellets that I had at home, just normal nutty kind of things. That's all mixed together and that creates this really nice sloppy mix that when you chuck in the water it just clouds up and lets off loads and loads of attraction. Um, so as I say I spotted out about five or so spodfuls of that and I've also just put out a couple of spodfuls of whole boilies. Um, this is the first time I've used this bait this, um, this session and that's from Proper Carp Baits. Um, that's their crunchy nut cinnamon and cream and also I've got some of the gold seal which is another one of their winter baits. And I'll just put a spot of each of those out over that spot as well. Um, and the other rod um, is just fished to one of the islands. I'll go into a bit more details about the spots later on. But um, that rod is just uh, fished just tight off to one of the islands. And I've just put out a cap hole of each um, of the crunchy nut and the gold seal. Just one cap hole of each over the rods. Um, so it's a fairly simple baiting approach. Um, nothing too complicated. Um, and hopefully that will draw in some fish for us and uh, we'll have a few to show you soon. Alright, so it's been a really cold slow day here today. Um, it's now starting to get dark. Uh, it's really clouded over and got quite cold now. Um, it's been hardly anything to report really. I saw a fish show round to my left earlier on, so I reeled in and went round and flicked some singles out down there for a few hours, but uh, nothing came of that and I saw nothing else. So back in the main swim again now, getting ready for the evening, put the rods back out, they've all gone out sweet, so um, hopefully with this wind picking up and overcast, uh, something will happen this evening. But So it's been really quiet so far, but hopefully it'll pick up a bit and we've still got plenty of time. Still got till one o'clock tomorrow, so uh, hopefully I'll have a slip fish to show you soon. All right, so here we go. We're off the mark with a little common. It's probably one of the smaller fish in the lake. Um, it's just a low double common, but it's nice to be off the mark uh, all the same. There we go. Lovely little common, pristine. Nice looking fish. But uh, hopefully we can slip it back and see if we can get a big one in a little while. It is looking good for it. We've seen a few few fish show in the area so uh, let's get this one back get the rod out and uh, hopefully get a bigger one all right so 
so it's the last morning here at East Elf Lakes. Uh, it was really quiet last night, uh, nothing else happened after I had that common. It absolutely hammered it down this morning. A proper storm, driving wind and rain, um, but now it's cleared up and it's looking absolutely perfect for a bite. We've seen a few fish show, but our time really is running out. We've only got an hour or so left till we have to pack up and be off. Um, fingers crossed we'll have another one, but say we've had one each, it's been really good fun. Uh, the lakes here are absolutely stunning, uh, some really nice fishing here to go at. So I'll definitely be back down this winter. Um, Bayless have been really friendly, so cheers to them. Um, but yeah, as I say, we've only got an hour or so left, we're going to start packing up now um, and then uh, got the drive back home. But uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. Um, hit like and subscribe if you have. Um, so hopefully we'll have another fish before we go but uh, if not I'll see you in the next video.